Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here we have today is the Tilt Rotor Pack, which is basically a high grade build custom uh, in the line of the Gundam Build Divers. This is kind of the same thing as uh, all the other build custom parts for uh, you know Build Fighters as well as Build Fighters Try. So nothing really new here except for this is actually pretty damn cool. Um, it's essentially like a, uh, I don't know if y'all know the uh, the Osprey, uh, which are basically like planes, but you know, they, they, they're, um, Rotary, rotary wings, so they basically can uh, rotate like these little propellers uh, forward or upwards. Um, so this is kind of like the same aesthetic, uh, which is really, really awesome. And I have not seen this, well, it has not appeared in the anime outside of the opening, so I'm very excited to go ahead and see this actually appear in the anime. Okay, so looking at the front art, uh, you basically just see it, you know, by itself. And then it also attached to uh, the Red Beret, which is definitely one of my favorite kits in the Build Divers line. Uh, and then over here, you just kind of see, you know, made in 2018, uh, Tilt Rotor Pack, and the rest is going to be covered by a sticker, but I don't think there's anything else really on this uh, side. Okay, and looking over here, all you're just going to see is some basic information. Uh, basically just saying, like, power equipment with high slicing capabilities that uses small rotating blades built into a chain, which is pretty cool. So, the chainsaw I'm pretty excited about. It has cannons, uh, missile pods, has, you know, the tilt rotor pad, well, the tilt rotor itself. Um, in addition to being able to hover in the air, it can perform unique maneuvers when combined with normal thrust devices so that's pretty interesting uh, maybe we get to see something like that when it comes to the anime and looking over here you just see some information on the tilt rotor pack uh, that's pretty much about it and it retails for 800 yen uh, so about eight bucks which is relatively cheap and i'm sure for further uh further down the line they'll have sales and everything so you can probably pick this up a little bit cheaper if you're just not really wanting to buy it right now or if you buy it later on uh, when you're trying to do any kind of customs and then underneath the box, you just see it like attached to a whole bunch of different, you know, suits. So you see it with the Zeta, which actually to me doesn't really look that bad. Uh, then it's connected over here to a Zaku uh, 2. Yeah, Zaku 2, I think. I can't really read from the distance, but uh, it's connected to a Zaku and it's also connected to Exia. Um, actually, no. Gun double diver. So it's connected to double, double diver, which I don't think looks good. It actually looks really, really good in the Beam Master, actually. Um, so, like some of the promotional pictures I've seen with it, here's it in color as well. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, so, if I ever decide to get another Beam Master, I would definitely get this and kind of just like paint it all a better color than that uh, nasty orange. Uh, and then you see it on these other you know, mobile suits and everything, and then it just kind of like shows you the rest of the lineup for the high grade build divers kits. And then you get three runners, a little sticker sheet, as well as the instruction booklet. Okay, and here is the tilt rotor pack. Um, the first thing I want to go ahead and just get out of the way is the extra parts that you get. So you are going to get some extra propellers right here. Uh, you can go ahead and do it with those as you please. And you also get this extra little piece. This is actually for the connection uh, right inside there, but you do get an extra one. So whatever you want to do with that. And then looking at the stickers, uh, basically you're going to have stickers for the eyes, which are right there. And then this is going to be the sides, so let's go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, these little, like, number one stickers, these little black ones, uh, these will basically go on the side, like here. And then the eyes, you can go ahead and just paint them, not paint them, but uh, position them right here. So if you want one that's kind of like looking straight, one that's looking to the left or right, you can definitely do so. And then these four red stickers are kind of just like for whatever you want to do it's really up to you um, that's what the manual says like just do as you wish with these uh, stickers okay so let's take a look at the articulation real quick uh, these little parts uh, for the propellers these, these can actually move uh, front backwards they're just on a little peg right there and then these can also spin like so the next thing is going to be these little rockets uh, they basically are on a little peg so they can also rotate as you know as much as you would want them to rotate and then right here, these little parts can pretty much move up, move backwards, and then the chainsaw right here can also move around. But it's really, like, you can just swap these things out. So if you really don't like this right here because it's kind of limiting the chainsaw, uh, you can definitely move it. But the chainsaw is going to be able to come out like so. And so for the paint that I use, I really didn't do much. Uh, I basically use just some red paint uh, for like the eye and also the little uh, rockets and then I use black for you know the black parts right here as well as uh, right here these little black stripes and then I use a little silver marker uh, for all like the little silver right there and on the chainsaw and then right all inside here on these um, kind of like vents right there. 
Okay, so just giving it a, a little bit more of a close-up. So this basically has, um, you know, like a little face, like a little Zaku eye right there. So that is pretty cool. And then looking over here, uh, this part is actually, you know, pretty dope. I like the design of it overall. Uh, so you're going to have like, I, I'm pretty sure this is like air intake uh, vents. Um, and then over here on the back side, you are going to have some thrusters. So I went ahead and just painted that black as well. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that these are actually thrusters. And then, you know, the little rockets, I uh, just went ahead and painted, uh, well, I uh, primed them first, and then I went ahead and painted those red, so um, it, that's pretty much an all gray piece right here. Uh, much like a lot of these things, like this is all green, um, this is all green, so you really are going to have to add some uh, color to them. And then the little chainsaw part is also pretty dope. Um, I basically just went ahead and painted the little chain itself uh, silver and was thinking about adding some other colors to it, but I was like, you know what, I'm kind of just fine with this. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting this on the Grimoire. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is just basically take off all these little extra parts, uh, so like the little rockets right here, as well as uh, these two parts right here. And then you're going to tuck this in, and we'll just go ahead and put this to the side for right now. Okay, and next you want to go ahead and plug in the little missiles right there on the shoulder. Okay, and next you want to go ahead and plug in uh, these parts right here on the side of the backpack, like that. Okay, next thing you want to do is add the chainsaws. So uh, basically just add them like this, and then you're going to pop the other one on the side like that. All right, and lastly, you wanna go ahead and put the main component right here on the top. Now, this is just gonna slide into these little, like, two pegs, if I can go ahead and get it. But just like so, they just slide right in there, and then, bam, you are now complete. Okay, so with everything attached to it, um, I can definitely tell you this thing looks fantastic. Um, I just, I love the, I don't, I don't know, like, it's just over the top. Uh, just weaponized and I don't think that's a bad thing. I think this looks super super awesome. The color scheme looks amazing um, You know everything about this just I don't know I guess like one thing it kind of reminds me of and don't don't really ask any questions why but it kind of reminds me of Predator um, the, the original Predator movie. I don't know why but that's just kind of like the vibe I get uh, but it's a very like army military uh, you know style so I really do enjoy this Okay, and you can also use the chainsaws, um, you know, basically as melee weapons. So uh, there's a little like handle that just switches out and you can plug it into the hand like so. Uh, it's a little bit of a hassle to really get the position right. Uh, but once you do get it right, then you know you, you, you'll pretty much have a nice little pose uh, with it. Now I don't have, I don't know where the other hand is, so I couldn't do dual uh, chainsaws. But um, you know once. Yeah, I would say if you want, definitely dual uh, chainsaws, or you can have one weapon, uh, the uh, the rifle in one hand, or the chainsaws in the other. Uh, but there is like another little gimmick that this uh, kit can actually do. Okay, so basically you can plug in like any parts that uh, that have like a little peg like this. You can plug it into the rifle because the rifle does have a couple of uh, slots that you can basically you know plug these little weapon uh, attachments in, and you just overall enhance your um, you know your beam rifle so kind of giving it that overkill aesthetic um maybe a little bit you know heavy uh, as, a, as you're kind of like seeing right now uh but if you can kind of get the pose right you know you can kind of just do something like this or you know something like that so overall i think it looks pretty good um it kind of just adds a little bit more meat to the rifle itself uh but in my opinion i think it looks i think it looks fine and then with the tilt rotor you can definitely see it is going to be able to pack a little bit more firepower so that way his rival is not going to be able to retaliate at least not as fast but when the h2 magnum decides he's had enough of all that long range attacks and starts destroying his weapons what can the red beret possibly do in a situation like this so the last thing they actually can do is fight to the finish but with that guys you know that's all i have so Overall, this is a very, very awesome little addition to your Red Beret or maybe any other kit that you have. Uh, but definitely thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you definitely enjoyed this video or if this is like a review that you know you really felt was informative to go ahead and make your purchase. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's it. I will see you in the next review. Bye-bye.